If you ask most physicians, why do people that are the most exhausted sleep the worst? Their face will go blank. They'll go, well, if you're the most exhausted, it's probably the only thing you do well is sleep. But it's actually the opposite because right. you're exhausted because you're hypoxic, but you're also not sleeping because you're hypoxic. So the people that are the most exhausted actually sleep the worst. And then what happens is they go to their doctor and they say, look, doc, I mean, I'm tired all the time I, and, I, and I just can't sleep. Um, and so then they do the worst thing. They put them on some kind of tranquilitic um, sleep medication. And what this does is this actually prevents your brain from waking you up, right? So your brain is actually trying to save you when it when it keeps you in, from going into deep um, sleep when you're hypoxic because your respiratory rate gets so shallow that you become severely hypoxic. Mm -hmm. These people will actually gasp at night. If you're sleeping next to them, you'll hear mm -hmm. them, <laughs> you know, you'll, you'll, you'll actually hear them gasp yeah. at night. Um, it's severe hypoxia. And so what happens is these people, um, will wake up in the morning and go, God, man, I really hate taking Tylenol PM because it makes me so drowsy the next day. That medication's been out of your system for hours. You're not feeling the effects of the Tylenol PM. You're feeling the effects of having suffocated for six hours. And so you take a hypoxic person, put them on sleep medication, and force them into severe hypoxia, and that's when the real magic begins. Now you start to see all-cause mortality begin, begin to rise.